simplified automation tool ever. You can create visual automation workflows for your funnels easily. Based on different user actions of WordPress, WooCommerce, or EDD, you can create automations within minutes. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brief view of how automation module works in Minimum. Now, let's get started. So for creating automation, you'll need MailMint Free and Pro installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. I've already done that and for the next step, I'm going to go to the automations module. So I'm going to click on automation and go to new automations. So this is basically my uh, visual canvas, right? So if I click on the starting point, it will show me the triggers or the user actions. So if I click on this, you can see that by default, I have a uh, mail mint as well as WordPress user actions. So for MailMint, I have an opt-in form submitted, added to list, tag assigned. And for WordPress, I have two uh, triggers, which are new user registration and user login. Apart from these triggers, we also have two other triggers available for now, which is uh, WooCommerce and EDD. And those will be shown later in the other videos. So for today's video, I'm just going to go over the specific triggers that we have available in automation module. And for the next part, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple automation flow using these triggers. Now, firstly, let me tell you how these triggers work. Now for the mail mint, we have three triggers here, right? Form submitted, added to list and tag assigned. Now what form submitted does is now, if you have an opt-in form in your landing page and someone submits a form, then you can use this form submitted trigger to run an automation specifically for those clients. Now for the second trigger we have is added to list. Now let's say you have some contacts and mailments contact list, right? Now, if you add few of the contacts in a specific list, you can create a separate automation for them as well. Similarly, the tag assigned trigger works in the same way. If you assign a specific tag to few users, you can also run an automation for them as well. Now moving on to the WordPress triggers, we have two triggers available. The one is the new user registration and the other one is the user login. So if you use this new user registration as a trigger, then if a new person comes and registers in your WordPress site, then this specific trigger can be used to run an automation flow. The user login trigger works in the same way. So if an existing user logs into your WordPress site, you can also run a separate automation for them as well. So this is basically a brief overview and let's move on to the next section and I'll show you how you can create a visual automation workflow using these triggers. Now, for creating an automation, you should always give a title to your automation first so you can identify which automation is for what purpose. So let's say my first automation is for adding to a list. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a trigger. Now if I click on this, I will be adding the trigger today is added to a list. Now let's say someone is added to my customer list. So if I click on this, you can see that customer list has been added here. So if a specific user has been added to the customer list, then this automation uh, will run. Now let's add some actions here. So if I click on the plus icon, you can see that some actions have uh, been appeared here. So I can choose any action from here. I'm going to go ahead and click on assign tags. So basically, if one of my users has been added to the customers list, I want another tag to be assigned to them. Now I can add a tag, maybe important and I can choose a tag from here, created one and added the important tag here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another action, which is, let's say, time delay. I'm going to 
wait for one minute and then I will add another action which is the email now I want to send them a specific email once they're added to this list and the tag now I'm gonna go ahead and let's say welcome email for mailment is already selected I'm just gonna go ahead and design an email let's say I just want them to say welcome and I don't welcome to mail mint get your order here I don't want to change here anything since this is a test email I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next and then I will click on start workflow so this is basically my automation and it it has started and you can see the active button is enabled right if I click on this the automation will be paused and if I click again then it will be active again you can also check the stats from here how your automation works and you can also check the automation report by clicking on through the report button now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you an example how this works so if I go to contacts And let's say I want to add Marley to a specific list which is the customer list so if I click on add list and click on customers I'll click on save and you can see that the important tag has been updated automatically according to the automation action now after one minute she should be getting an email from me saying welcome right so I'm gonna wait a minute and I will show you using an email log whether the email has been sent or not. So if I go to my email log, you can see that Kale Thompson has uh, been sent and welcome email that I created a few minutes before using my automation. So basically this is how your automation will work and you can choose whatever action and whatever triggers you want in a super efficient and easy way. You can see how easily I created an automation and launched it. It's super easy and it took me just a few minutes and you could see that I didn't need to go back and forth to create an automation and run it, right? So. That's it for today. I'll see you in my next video.